seriously so fragrant and there's nothing but egg and water guys this is my easy version oh my god my childhood so freaking good hey sb fam welcome back to my channel today the long-awaited video of or steamed egg pudding is here you guys keep requesting to make a proper egg pudding recipe video so i can post it on youtube rather than having instagram stories i don't know why you guys want a youtube video but i'm here making it for you guys i'm going to try to make it as simple as possible but I want to provide you guys different options because there are going to be people who want to make it as gourmet and perfected as possible and there's going to be people who want to just make it as simple and foolproof as possible. So I'll give you two ways of making zheng ji dan, otherwise known as steamed egg pudding. And again, I have to give all credit and shout out to my mother. Um, she has been raising me and my three siblings off of just this egg pudding. We would eat this literally every single morning since we could digest anything besides baby food. Every single day before school, we would run downstairs to eat this. My mom made it so perfectly and I'm so lucky that she could teach me her ways and her secrets and her tips and tricks. So let's get started. I'm going to make this video as detailed as possible. So if it's longer, I'm sorry, but I want to help you guys perfect this egg pudding um, also follow me on Instagram if you want to see all of the egg pudding that steak and butter fam members have already tried and made seriously guys you guys make it better than me but let me just attempt to teach you how to make zheng ji dan let's get started hey ya <laughs> so you're going to need some eggs obviously here I have my favorite brand, again, not, not sponsored, Vital Farms. I just love their eggs. I just find their yolks are so orange and the flavor profile is just so beautifully um, delicious, I guess. So this is their pasture raised. Actually, all of their eggs are pasture raised. They just have different color boxes. And honestly, I just go with the cheapest one. I just care that it's pasture raised. So this I got from Whole Foods. Whole Foods always has the best price on Vital Farms, I've noticed, especially if you have um, an Amazon Prime membership. Now, if you're making one portion, all you need, two eggs. But I'm making one for my older sister, Nancy, one for my little brother, Tommy, and one for myself. That's right, Tommy loves my egg pudding. Is it better than mommy's? Yeah. He thinks it's better than mommy's. He's not forcing me to say that. Yes, he said... He's not forcing me to say anything. That's right, he said I'm not forcing him to say that he's genuine when he says that okay so two for tommy two for nancy so now we have to talk about the liquid base so i like to eat my steamed eggs with plain water so eggs and water that's it if you are lazy and you want to make it as simple as possible eggs and water is your recipe it's your best bet but if you want it super gourmet or you're trying to cook this for your babies or your kids and you want them to love it then i recommend you get some broth so for Tommy and Nancy, I'm making eggs mixed with broth because that makes the most gourmet perfect zheng ji dan ever. So for today, I have some bone broth from Belcampo. Actually, I just got this yesterday. I tried it last night for Tommy and he loved it. So I'm going with this bone broth. This is just any old like beef bone broth. You can go with chicken bone broth. You can go with beef bone broth. You can go with pork, literally any broth you want. So this is from Belcampo. It's literally water, grass-fed beef, pork, organic apple cider, vinegar, and sea salt. You can even use your own homemade broth. So we need that. For my water egg pudding, I'm just gonna use some lukewarm water. So I have some prepared right here. That's literally it. That's all you need for your egg pudding. But equipment is important. I'm gonna break this down as simple as I can. So I'm gonna show you guys all the equipment you should be having. First, we need a measuring cup, just so we can make sure it's perfectly measured out. So this measuring cup, I find really comes in handy, anything that measures. And then we have the bowl. So I have to say the bowl, material of the bowl, the thin thickness of the bowl is very important. Why? because in order to ensure that the egg pudding is steamed 
extremely evenly and perfectly so that there aren't any air bubbles, so that the jelly-like consistency is perfected, you do need a thinner bowl, steel bowls. I got these actually at my local Korean market. It's called H Mart. If you have that, check them out. If you just have an Asian market, they usually have these thin steel bowls. So I actually have two of these because I knew that my family would want me to make it for them like today. And I got a bigger one from the store like this. So if you feel like you need more egg pudding, get a bigger bowl. If you need a smaller portion, you can just get this. And I must say, if you can't find an Asian market, if you have dog bowls, they would work perfectly. This is actually my dog's food bowl. I suspect this would work so perfectly, if not more perfect than these round ones because it has a flat surface and it's um, not as deep. But we're just gonna go with human made bowls today. Just wanted to put a tip out there, maybe some ideas for people who are desperate for making it now. Another equipment that I have found to be extremely handy for egg pudding is this little stand. It's like a little pedestal for whatever you put in the pan. So I put this in the pan and I put the bowl, I put the bowl on top of the pan, and I find this helps mostly in when I take it out and put it in so I don't burn my fingers in the pan. You know, it's honestly not necessary. Now, I want to show you guys the pan that I use just so you get an idea. I'm actually already heating the water so it already reaches a boil. Let me just show you guys. Okay, so this is the pan that I use. I'm gonna link everything that I use in um, down in the description box. But I like a pan like this where there is quite some depth so I can fit the pedestal and the bowl. Now I'm literally just boiling some water in advance so that I can directly place the egg pudding in immediately. So I'm just gonna keep it on low so that the water doesn't um, evaporate. So that's what I do. I always preheat the water. There needs to be about like an inch of water in the pan already boiling because that is what's gonna help steam the egg pudding. Okay guys, so here is the two smaller bowls for my siblings and this is for me. Let's first start off with the gourmet style egg pudding so that my siblings can eat. So we're going to put two eggs per bowl. I always crack it in the measuring cup so I know exactly how much space it takes up because the liquid to egg ratio is one to one. So let's say you have half a cup worth of eggs, then you put in half a cup worth of liquid. So let's see how much two eggs are just so I can show you. Two eggs is exactly one third of a cup. So I'm going to put this in this bowl first. Now that I know, I'm just going to crack it directly into the second bowl. Like so. okay. Now we're going to mix up these eggs. If you don't have chopsticks, a spatula, a, wait, what's that called? The egg mixer thing? I, I don't even remember what it's called. A fork, a spoon, your hands, <laughs> whatever you want to mix it. I just find chopsticks are so... handy and effective. As you can see, this beautiful golden liquid. Okay guys, so for the liquid part of the egg pudding mix, I've already measured out two thirds cup. Why two thirds? Because we have one third of egg here, one third cup of egg here. So for both of the bowls, two thirds. I'm just gonna divide it in half because I'm making two portions. So what's in here? It's basically bone broth. If you have pre-made, or homemade, just use that, whatever bone broth you want. And there is salt in this bone broth, which also helps to cook the egg pudding better. So again, this is the gourmet version. This is as difficult as it's gonna get. One thirds of broth per bowl. Gotta make sure I do it right. Right away. Perfect. And a little bit in here. And again, we mix. Now it's time to put into the steamed pan. So hopefully your, your water in your pan is already boiling by now. Okay guys, so the water should be boiling. I'm just gonna throw the little pedestal inside, like so. And I'm gonna put in the first bowl. 
we have right here. Hopefully you guys don't burn your hands. There you go, guys. So now you want to get your lid, close it, and then crack a tiny little space. The tiniest space. You see that over there? That will ensure that it doesn't get too hot in the pan. And the fire, the heat should be at a medium high or even just medium. It'll just take a little longer, but you don't want it to get too hot. Otherwise you're going to get air bubbles. Now we're going to time it for four minutes, but I will always come back and check just to make sure it's cooking properly. The water should still be boiling at all times. Okay. That small of a crack. I'm doing medium. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I just want to show you, even though it's not ready yet, I do want to show you so you guys have markers. When you pat the belly with the spoon, which is vital in checking if it's ready, as you can see, the edges are pretty much getting cooked, but the middle is still completely liquid. That just goes to show it's not quite yet ready. So we put the lid back on like that and we keep cooking. Tommy, Tommy! I made it just like mommy, I promise. Tommy, come. Can, can I just take a spoonful, Tommy? Yeah. Look at this, guys. This is true egg pudding goodness here. Oh my god, I mastered it! Ah! Show them the perfect <gasps> texture and consistency and the eggy juice. Wow, what the frick? <gasps> what is Dude, that? I made it perfect, guys. I can't believe it. Yes, for me. <laughs> that looks pretty good. No, it's like perfect. flawless. There isn't one bubble. Oh, yeah, sir. Do a little egg it's jiggle wiggle. So... <laughs> oh my god. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Wiggle jiggle wiggle wiggle wiggle. How is it? Mm, better than mommy's. Oh my god. Now, let's make mine the super no brainer, foolproof, easy version. What I do, I take my measuring cup and I crack all the eggs I want into the cup first. Let me show you guys. I think I'm gonna go with five eggs because this bowl can actually handle a lot. Three, four, and a five. I have five eggs in here. And what does it come out to? It comes out to exactly one cup. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna add one more cup of lukewarm water. So watch me do it. We just want it to get to the two cup mark, done. And then what do I do? I mix it up and I pour it directly into my steel bowl. Ooh, look at that. I literally don't care if it's scrambled to perfection. I just do it until I feel like it's ready because it's for myself and I don't care if it's gourmet, if it's perfect, I'm just lazy. This is literally what I do for myself every day. By the way, this steamed pudding is so perfect for kids, for babies, for toddlers, um, and also for ladies who are on their period and they need something nourishing and warm. So perfect, like so versatile too. You can be creative, make it sweet, make it savory. Okay, so I've been scrambling for the past minute. This is ready to pour into the bowl. So let's do that. I have my big steel bowl, literally just pour it in. And that's it. I'm literally done with preparing the batter, the mix, and I just chuck it in the pan. That's right, chuck it in. Just kidding. I just steam it for like six minutes and that's, that's it. So it's been about four minutes and I wanna show you guys how it's looking. So I always have this handy spoon to pat the belly. So you see that once it doesn't clearly show that it's still liquid in the middle if there's some bounce back then it's ready and because i like it super raw this is mine the simple one i'm gonna take it right now and this is pretty much perfect to me do you see that guys oh this is how a steamed egg pudding should jiggle look at that jiggle look at that jiggle Look at that. Ooh. Oh. 
You see, it should look very jello like. Like so. Jiggle, jiggle, egg, jiggle, wiggle. Now let's give it a try. I'm gonna give this egg pudding bite a try. Seriously, so fragrant, and there's nothing but egg and water, guys. This is my easy version. Oh my god. My childhood, so freaking good. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this answered your egg pudding questions, and I hope it's clear enough to teach you guys um, the best way to cook or steam an egg pudding. Please, if you try this recipe, tag me on Instagram at Steak and Butter Gal, and I am more than happy to reshare on my stories. I love seeing your egg puddings. I love showing them to my mom. Makes her day, seriously. Um, yeah, tag me if you try it, and I really hope you love this zheng ji dan. Again, all the equipment that I used is down in the description bar. Bye guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. SBG out. Almost finished it, how is it? It's delicious. Yay, success. And this is mine, I'm gonna be eating mine with this. Just kidding, this is Simba's bowl. This is what I'm having. Dun dun dun. Okay, bye SB fam. Hope you guys are staying meat fueled. Simba free. Good Whee! boy. Yum yum yum. You love your raw meals, don't you? <laughs>